of here. We're going outside of this back of this sled. The twilight hours, the best time for eel fishing in Maine, one of only two states in the U.S. where they can be fished legally. There's not too much current. And then as the tide carries them, the next thing that they'll do is they'll come here. Julie Keene waits patiently for baby yep. eels, called elvers, to swim into her nets. It's a hard profession, but one with a big payoff. After eel stocks in Asia and Europe dried up several years ago, American eels became an important piece of the worldwide sushi industry. But China, is bad. they eat for uh, eel. And the market in the Japanese restaurants, uh, all, all over the world is for Japanese restaurants and uh, eel. People like eel more than before. That demand now means eels can fetch up to $2,000 a pound at the dock, spawning a black market and poaching that wildlife officials say is jeopardizing the species. A multi-state crackdown on unlicensed eel fishermen and illicit sales, known as Operation Broken Glass, so far has resulted in 15 guilty pleas for illegal trafficking worth around $4 million. Your net is fishing like hell! Fishermen like Keen and Jeremy Card say they need help from law enforcement to stay in business. Because they don't usually get caught and they'll either just untie it and dump it or they'll just cut a hole in the bottom of it and dump it right in the bucket that way. Or they'll steal your whole net. I mean, you just I become very sad when I hear it. I get really mad, you know, because people are trying to make a living and we care so much. and. You know, we've done every, we've jumped through every hoop they've asked us to. One of those hoops means a very limited season for legal eel fishing, but it's open season on poachers. Christophe Fourier, Associated Press.